All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Keto Mom page. I already was on here. I already did live, and something happened. Actually, I know what happened. My 15-year-old techie daughter told me that I need to put my phone on focus so that people can't call me anymore. <laughs> Screws up everything. So as you're tuning in, the first thing I need to know is can you hear me? Secondly, we are making chili. So I'll walk you through how I make the chili that we're making. It's super simple. I also, in the header of this video, in the title of the video, I gave you a recipe that brings you to how we make our chili, but also a bonus recipe of the keto biscuits. It's like a, well, it's like a low carb cheddar biscuit. They're so good. They kind of taste like the one from Red Lobster. I think they're delicious. So you can make them with your chili or you can make them for upcoming Thanksgiving fun. Ah, my daughter is great, Cindy. She fixed my phone. She said, just turn your phone on focus mode. And I said, I don't know how to do that. So she helped me all as well. Whoever's going to call me will have to wait. So I'm making chili. Super simple. I'm browning three pounds of hamburger. We like our chili chunky, <laughs> chunky chili. So it's going to be for supper, going in the crock pot, so we can have it after we come home from CrossFit later this evening. You can put any vegetables that you want. So load it up with your tomatoes or peppers or all the things that you like. I use as much meat as you want. I think sometimes people overthink this. I don't often measure, and yet I have to measure to tell people what I'm making. But I season the meat with garlic, which I'm doing right now. Hamburger. Seasoning it with garlic whatever veggies you want, and then I'll th I throw one or two of these. So hopefully I only need to use one because we like it pretty chunky, but I might have to use two. The best deal for this sauce, <laughs> oh my goodness, this is so awkward. The best deal for this sauce is at Costco. So I realize at other grocery stores it's a little bit more expensive. Just pick the best low-carb, low-sugary sauce. This is my favorite. So good. So what my daughter, one of my daughters asked for that is on our menu. So I'm curious, what is on your menu for tonight? If you did not choose something, then you get to have leftovers. Or if we actually don't uh, plan dinner, it's usually leftovers or like eggs, whatever we always have in the fridge. Okay, so we're having chili for dinner. That's on our menu. For lunch, we're having some low carb wraps. I think we have lettuce wraps in the fridge. We use these for lunches. I think we eat a lot of tuna fish and we just have some meat and cheese with some mayonnaise or whatever else you want. So we're having low carb wraps for lunch and we're having chili for dinner. We go to CrossFit this afternoon. If you do not know me, I'm a mom. If you're brand new, post new below. I'm a mom of four girls. My husband is incredible. He's actually in Florida at a conference right now. And we homeschool, the girls are 15, 13, 11, and 9, and they're so great. Okay, I'm going to shake up a new flavor of ketones, uh, but before I do, I'm just trying to make sure my meat is all stirred up really good. Hold on. Uh, I usually come on and do a live in the mornings. This morning, we had a really early doctor's appointment, so we had to leave early, drive an hour away. Uh, one of our daughters was thrown from a horse in June, so we're working on some neuro stuff. If you've been here for a while, you know that. If you have not, if you did not know that, that's what we did. So she had to go do some, what did you do today, Emery? What's it called? Neuro. neuro. We just call it neuro. neuro. Neuro something for an hour. She does these neuro things for her brain. Super helpful. We found an incredible doctor. She was thrown from a horse. It was terrible. It was terrible. And she is healed. She's healed. Okay, so... Hey, also, uh, prior to this live, I was doing a live before somebody called me, my husband, and knocked the sound off. But I am curious. Thanksgiving is around the corner. So I was texting with my family this morning like, all right, what are we doing? What date are we doing it? So I'm pretty sure I'm hosting two of them. I think they're so fun. Here's the question. Do you do more low-carb holidays, let's say low-carb Thanksgiving, or are you just going to do whatever you want? Like, is it a day where you're like, Listen, it is a day where I celebrate, have fun, yes, and eat whatever I want. I'm not going to judge you either way. But if you want some low-carb Thanksgiving recipes, I'm going to be posting some of those. So be watching for those. In the header of this video, I did post that cheddar biscuit one. That would be a really great one for Thanksgiving if you want some lower-carb options. So tell me this. Are you hosting Thanksgiving or not? What's your favorite Thanksgiving food? 
What is it? If I had to say my favorite Thanksgiving food, so if there's one thing that I seriously, actually there's two things that I like to eat just at Thanksgiving, and it's my sister-in-law's, she makes these delicious, um, they're kind of like special K bars. So if there's gonna be a dessert of choice that I'm going to eat, if it's not low carb, it's gonna be special K bars because hers are like out of this world. And I'm a good old fashioned, I really only eat turkey and some gravy and some mashed potatoes. I actually don't love a Thanksgiving meal per se, but I love the people. Like I love, like I love the warm home, the people coming over, the full day in the kitchen. Like I love that part. Like I love getting ready and I love being with all the people. But as far as the meal goes, I'm like, I'll have some meatballs. <laughs> like we'll do like crock pots of meatballs and things too, along with the turkey and the ham. So that's what I will have is either turkey, ham, and some meatballs. I'm pretty boring that way. <laughs> but uh, we have a lot of different low carb recipes to share with you if you want to make some. So, all right, my hamburger is ready for chili. Okay. I know I, somebody might call me on this. I like touch my nose. I'm in the kitchen. It's my family. Don't worry. It is so funny when people watch me on live and they either look at my background and I'm like, I know it's messy. Counters are messy. Or they'll be like, you touch your face a lot. I know. I know. Why do you always wear a hat? Because I don't like to do my hair. I do have lots of things like that. People message me like weird messages. Like, why do you do that? I don't know. Because I do. It's just who I am. So I'm going to shake up my mom fuel. I'm going to make lunch. It's going to be an incredible day. Uh, oh, I know what I was saying. I normally do a live in the morning. And so I did not do a live because we went to her neuro appointment. It was an hour away early this morning. And so in the book that we're going through on the morning lives, we were talking about time management. And I was like, I clearly did not time manage my morning to be able to do a live. So I'm super sorry. I'll do it tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to shake up this new flavor. Here's what I'm going to say. If you were born around the same time I was born. Hey, if you drink ketones currently, like you're one of my customers, why don't you share your favorite flavor below? So I like to come on in the afternoons and do a keto tasting and a keto tip. My mom feel tasting and a keto tip. Uh, if you have never, oh yeah, I just shared. So there's a, so okay, if you're asking about the chili recipe or the cheddar biscuits, I shared it in the header of this video. The chili is super easy. I legitimately do three pounds of hamburger meat, any vegetables that you want. I use Rayo's marinara sauce. I season it with garlic and chili powder. That's it. So there you go. If you've never tried my mom fuel and you want it, you want to try this incredible mom fuel. First of all, it's going to change your life. Why? Because it's going to put you in ketosis in under an hour. I've been drinking them for over seven years. And so this is a new flavor. If at any point, you want to know more about it, just post trial in the comments. But uh, I will say this. If I were to say something like, taste the rainbow, what would you, what would make you think of that? If I were to say, taste the rainbow, it's an old, old commercial. My kids had no idea what it was. We don't watch TV nor commercials. All right, somebody tell me if that, if you can think of anything that would say, Taste the rainbow. What is it? Candy, yes, but tell me what candy says that. No, it wasn't Lucky Charms. I don't think. I feel like I'm saying it right. You guys, there's a specific candy that said, yes! Kimberly, you got it. Yes, Jamie, taste the rainbow. So I think that's what this is supposed to taste like. So there's a new flavor. I'm going to guess probably around Halloween time. It's not this time. Maybe next week. Maybe this week earlier. So I love these cups. I get them from uh, Amazon because I love to drink out of a straw. So here's a quick keto tip of the day. Drink your water. I have so many people that say, I just can't drink water. Yes, you can. It's a choice. If you need to put some flavoring in it, go find some sugarless flavoring to put in your water. Put some lemon or lime. Squeeze it in there. Drink your water, half your body weight in ounces of water. All right, so this one is clear. I like to drink out of a straw because I drink way more water or way more fluids faster, so I have these cool cups. Here's the name of the cup. I got it off Amazon. I don't have a link. And watch. Just, just all you have to do is go to Amazon and type in Contigo. Is that how you say it? C-O-N-T-I-G-O, Contigo. 
Contigo straw cup and this will pop up. Look at it. And so you shake it and then you put it in. Okay, should we see if this tastes like the rainbow? New flavor, what does it do? It puts your body in ketosis in under an hour. You guys, it is a tool. I drink it every single day, once or twice a day, and it gives me the energy that I need. I'm going to cross it. Well, my kids are going at 3.30, I'm going at 4.30. And so what ketones do, no matter what, is it turns your brain on. So ketones are brain fuel. They help you with fat loss. They help you with your energy, your focus, your appetite control. I did an incredible interview uh, last week. I touched my face again. <laughs> I, you know what? When I first started doing lives, my husband would listen to me, and he'd be like, you only said um 49 times. And then he would go, you only said like, like 108 times. He's like, You're, I used to break out in hives. I always wonder, like, why did I keep doing this? But I really, truly love meeting people. And so, and then I'm like, oh, I touched my face. I touched my hair. I just try, you know, you learn as you go. And so people like to tell me what I do and then I fix it. I touch my face. All right. I did a really great interview. Her name is Dr. Andy. She's an incredible naturopathic doctor who study a lot of women. She talks a lot about women and hormones, but she did an incredible interview with me talking about exactly what this is, what ketones are, how they work from a medical point of view. If you want to see the interview, just post interview below because I'll send it to you. All right, let's taste this. You want to try it? You guys, it tastes, you want to know what it tastes like? It tastes like a handful of Skittles, a whole handful. But it's not, oh my goodness, it's got like a tinge of tart, but sweet. It, it's good. It tastes like candy. It tastes like Skittles. Mm, it's so good. It tastes like Skittles. All right, this one's not out yet, so you have to be watching. If you're a current customer, if you, hey, if you already drink ketones, why don't you share with me below? What's your favorite flavor and what's your benefit? Like, why do you drink them? I tell people for myself, I don't have to take a nap. Turns my brain on. Uh, in the very beginning, I wanted to lose the last little bit of baby weight. Now I'm currently working on building muscle. Everybody's different. But the product is a tool, right? So you drink it once or twice a day. You don't have to be doing strict keto. Uh, and in fact, you know, what's interesting is that's, a, I honestly get that question every day is how do I do this simply keto is stressing me out. And I'm like, you, what you need to do is think about it in a non-stressful way. What are you drinking? Cut out the sugar, right? Cut out the sugary drinks, cut out the sugar that you're eating. You could even start by thinking of whole foods, uh, drop out the bread, the pasta, the rice, and think of protein and a veggie. Dr. Andy did an incredible job. She's like, if I have somebody that has never done keto before, yes, they come in caffeine free. She said, if I have somebody that's never done keto before, oh, CrossFit, it's a workout, William. Is it William or Rose on here? Whoever's talking to me. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm getting squirreled. Mm. Dr. Andy said she walked us through how she does it in her practice and how she helps somebody who comes in and says, I want to lose some fat. She's like, there's no way I'm putting them on a keto diet. I'm going to help them work to eating better. So she had some incredible suggestions in the interview. Hi, Rose. So you can post interview below because she'll explain it. It comes in caffeine free. Uh, yes, if you have specific questions, ask below and I'll come back on and message you. This is amazing. Oh, I love it. You can make them warm if you want to. Just put them warm in a mug. Oh my goodness, I love this new flavor. It tastes like Skittles, but it's not like, a lot of them have been like more of light flavors. This is like a tart. Mm. More tart sweet. My tongue loves it. All right. I will be sending the interview link out. If you have questions about food or how to get started, if you are just brand new and you've never gotten the food link for me to give to you, uh, and I have like a basic video of like, here's how I started. Here's eight steps just to get started. Post food in the comments and I'll give you that. Otherwise, send me a message. I'm here to help. You can tune in in the mornings. Most of the time during the week, I'm on live in the mornings. Today, I did not time manage well and I was away. So I apologize. Uh, always send me a message. I'm here to help. I'm not a doctor, but I can help you from what I've learned over the last seven years. You can tune in here. 
uh, it doesn't matter. I'm here. And there's food recipes shared every single day to help you on your journey. The biggest thing I would say is don't overthink it. Do not eat if you're not hungry. Most people think they need to force feed themselves. And uh, drink your water. Move your body. Like, be mindful. Like, before you eat something, say, is this my best option or is there something better for me? Uh, is this the better option or am I giving in to emotions? Uh, am I eating because I'm hungry or I'm bored? Like, I promise you, 90% of the reason I truly believe that people are overweight is they're snacking or they're eating all day long. They're just eating too much food and a lot of sugar. So cut back on your sugar. You don't need it. It's not good for you. Drink your water. Stop eating so many snacks. I do have some other tips for you I will give you. So I hope you guys have an incredible day. I'm going to finish making my chili. I'm going to go eat a low-carb wrap. We're going to get finish our school day. My kids are doing craft time right now, so they're making a, they're making a board game. That's what they wanted to do for, like, school slash art craft day. It's going to be an amazing thing. So they're making a board game up. They are making up a board game. All right. Hey, I hope you guys have a great day. Continue to tune in. And uh, post trial, if you want to know more about my mom feel. Otherwise, I'll talk to you soon. I appreciate you. Bye, everybody.